Been on doing some more quick game today. Going to talk to you, and I'll split this up. We're going to talk to you first about Hoosier. Going to talk to you about Stick. Uh, again, these are going to show up. You football guys, it's going to be in your Google class. If you have not received that invitation, just check your email. If you have any issues, shoot me a text, and I can resend that to you. And uh, It's also showing up on Sports U, the Decatur Eagles team. Don't be sending this out now. Everybody's going to know our routes. All right, just kidding. Let's talk about Hoosier. Hoosier is a play that we have, have grown to like, especially in the red zone or when we're seeing man coverage. There's some things about it that, that work really, really well. What you see is we start getting into our routes, especially receivers. There's a lot of reading that's got to happen on the fly. Now, this is sometimes a little bit tougher when it's just you running routes. That's tough to do, so you've got to simulate a little bit. But we got to make sure that our steps are what our steps are supposed to be, that we're aiming where we're supposed to aim, that we have good eyes, that we're looking towards a DB and not snapping and looking at the quarterback till it's time. Some of that stuff we've talked about going on. Let's get into Hoosier. So I've drawn early Hoosier right up here. Hopefully, formation-wise, you feel good about it. But here's what's going on. Away from Hoosier. So Hoosier is a three-by-one play for us. We don't run it uh, in a two-by-two two set at least right now, but but we don't run this concept in two by two. To the single side, the back's going to line up to the single, and it's just bolt over here, all right? So in this instance, in early who's your right, the X is running a four-step slant, okay? The F is going to give an echo call and get on out and swing to the single, all right? Quarterbacks, we got to find if there's a safety hanging out over here, okay? If there's a safety hanging, middle of the field, we're probably okay, if this were on the hash, we've got to be a little bit careful for where the safety is. If he's over the ball and the ball's on the hash versus if we're in the middle of the field and he's lined up in the middle of the field over the ball, there's a little bit more room there, okay? But if we only have a corner and an outside backer over here, then this is a good concept to hit. We want to be able to hit this, okay? This safety can't play that slant if he's standing here or if they're doing anything to our trips. So it's really, really good, okay? So that's a first look, quarterbacks. you got to be able to, to figure that out. Uh, pre-snap, even as you're coming to the line and looking at it, all right? If anything takes you off of that, and that's fine, but you don't like Bolt, you need to tell the back he at least needs to check swing. He can stay in and protect, okay? So if he's giving an echo call and going if you don't tell him. But if you know you're going to work the Hoosier side, then just tell him that he needs to check, and then he can check swing. If his backer comes, he can pick it up, and then he can swing, all right? So here's what's going on in this instance on the play side, which is to the right. Okay, why you're running a 10 corner. Our corners are consistent no matter who is running them. We are going to get a vertical release to 10 yards. We've got to make sure that whoever gets hands on us, we get them off. We can't let them jam us and widen us or slow us down. We're getting to 10. We are sticking our inside foot, in this instance that would be left foot, in the grass while I'm looking upfield, and I am now taking my eyes and my momentum at a nice 45 degree angle right there to 25 yards on the sideline. Okay, if you remember when we practice this, I'm usually standing or, or Coach Mickles or Coach Wren, we're standing at 25 yards. So you guys stick and look at us first. What we want is three steps out of your break. We want you looking at your splashdown. We are not gonna throw this to you out of your break. If we throw a corner ball, it's gonna be out here at your splashdown. Now, the quarterback can pull the throw down just a little bit, but it's going to be out here towards the sideline. It is not going to be right here, stick, and look for the ball. We're not throwing it to you right here. So you cannot stick and look at the quarterback because that's going to change your path and may flatten you out a little bit, and that's an issue, especially if we throw that corner. Stick at 10, splash down at 25, sprint there, stick and go. Make sure you're not rounding this step off. Don't stick with your left foot and go anywhere other than at your splash down with your right foot that next step. So don't step and kind of round it off and go, we got to get out of there quick. Okay, H, you're running a five yard square dig, getting a five, sticking quick and straight inside. You've got to keep going, okay? You're going to stick and go. You're As soon as you stick, you can look, but keep coming. We're going to try to suck in any sort of underneath help right here with linebackers. We're going to try to get them to cover you. They might not, we might be dumping it to you right there. Okay, Z's, you're gonna have to, you're running a five yard square dig as well, but you've gotta be able to read it. So I'm getting to five, eyes are upfield sticking, and I'm getting my eyes to the quarterback, but I've gotta scan and see what's going on in front of me. Now, first of all, you gotta know, if I've got any sort of man coverage, I'm gonna have to keep going. If you turn inside and you're manned up, okay, and you stop, that's easy to cover. Now, the quarterback's read shouldn't be throwing that, but that's not our job as receivers. Our job as receivers is not to read what the quarterback 
should be throwing. That's on you, quarterbacks, okay? So we're going to turn the corner and see what's going on. If it's open, if you see your H going down inside and you see any outside linebacker chasing him or squeezing down with him, you need to be in that window behind him. If he's getting in there and it's open down inside, keep going. If you turn the corner and start working inside on your dig and you fill a wide open window, maybe the cornerback sank, the backer steps down on the H, then you're just going to throttle it down. Remember, when we throttle it down, we're not stopping, but we're also not going full speed. We call it being in an open window. We want the quarterback to be able to make a nice, easy read and get it to you. Quarterbacks, if you're working Hoosier, read the corner. A lot like our sneak read. If that corner does anything, if the Z starts to come inside and that corner squats or steps inside with him, then we know we've got to throw it at the splashdown. Remember, quarterbacks, don't throw this corner high. If you do that, that gives the safety, you know, again, assuming there's a safety over here trying to get out over the top, he can get to that ball. You've got to throw it at the splashdown or maybe even a little bit lower. But let's aim on if you're out and throwing and have that opportunity, throw it right there 25 yards on the sideline. Okay, if the corner sinks, then we're coming back and reading this. You can look at the H real quick. If he's there, dump it to him, but there's a good chance that Z opens up right in behind it. We have done this a little bit RPO-wise, something that we need to explore a little bit more, especially with as much man as we see, all right? But that is Hoosier, okay? If we were in, oh, that, uh, that's Hoosier right. If we were in over Hoosier left, it'd be the same thing flipped. X, now you would have the five-yard square dig, and you'd be reading it. H, you'd be over here still running your five square dig and keep it going. Y, you'd be over here running your 10 corner, splash down at 25. F, would be set to the single and run bolt. Z, you'd be running bolt. If it was a, it's the same thing, flip, okay? Make sure that you're going back through. If you have any questions on this stuff, shoot me an email. Shoot me a text. Let's talk about it, okay? And then understand that. Is there a chance that we could change some of this stuff up? Absolutely, but this stuff is good, and basically this is what we're doing. Some of you younger guys are like, man, we didn't run. Who's your on the freshman team this year? That's fine. If that's something that maybe you're on the JV this year, and maybe that's something that we want to run. Maybe not, but you know the terminology, and you can be successful when we do it. Thanks, guys.